the travails of boardroom dressing have every young man and woman in some bit of ambiguity. You know, you faced it. Should you go with the sober, sophisticated or something bold? Stick to the grace and blues or should people be able to spot you from far? On this episode, it's about finding your own fashion mantra that works at work. I get to be on the hot seat to start this episode of Get The Look, so follow me. We all know how cutthroat that corporate environment can be. Everybody's trying to get to the top. So the look I think we go for today with you, it's going to be something sleek, something edgy, yet something fierce as well. Something that's going to get you to the top and make you stand out. Of course we're going to be blow drying your hair this morning. I think it's always important to use a good prep. And we're going to start with the Tony and Guy Heat Protector. To get started, spray the heat protection mist evenly and blow dry. Then make a neat side parting. You're going to need to create sections. I think we're going to go for, I would say, perhaps four sections. We're going to have two on the side. We're going to have a front section that we're going to work with to frame the face. Create four sections of hair and secure with clamps. And the rest is actually going to be quite simple because this we will put in a pony. Of the four sections, the back one goes into a high ponytail. So Ambika, basically we're working with three sections currently. We have the two on the sides, one in the front, and we've got our pony at the back. So what we're going to do now, very easily, you just take the pony, you can hold the end, wrap it around. Twist it, roll it, and get that ponytail into a roll and secure it with pins. Take the side sections from each side and secure them with clips around the roll. The final touch, apply the shine glass serum on all sides. All done in 7 easy steps. Oh yeah, don't forget the bow tie. There we go Ambika. You're all ready to take on the corporate world. Absolutely. I'm thinking CEO. I like the sound of it. Thank you so much Mark. I'm loving the look and next on my agenda is to meet Tejeshwar, he works at a PR firm, he's a newbie and we're going to give him a corporate makeover. Before you go Ambika, I've got a little something for you. That's this sweet. is a hamper from Tony and Guy which is going to help you achieve this look every morning. Every morning, that is amazing. Thank you so much Mark. It's been a pleasure. Enough about me, let's see who here needs that magic touch of get the look this time. I need a dime, ain't taking a bump. Hi, my name is Tejeshwar Sandhu. I'm 22 years old. I work with a PR firm as a social media brand consultant. I need a dime, ain't taking a bump. My work requires me to go for a lot of events. All our clients are high fashion luxury brands and everyone's looking smart and chic in a nice suit, ties, bow ties and there I am standing in front of them wearing a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and chappal sometimes and, and I feel so out of place. Tej is a really cool kid and I really like the fact that he has a great sense of colour. I believe his fashion sense is Truly inspired by pop art, he really believes in the whole grunge and boho chic sort of a look. I do want to see him in a more formal look. I'd like to see him like in some more kind of formal attire sometimes. It would be great if we see a more dapper avatar of this one. I'm very confident about my casual wear. When it comes to formal wear, I am I think taller men have an advantage when it comes to formal wear, like the likes of Abhishek Bachchan and Arjun Rampal who look impeccable in a formal attire. I do not want another nightmare before a formal event or a meeting, so my boss comes after me and drills me for not dressing up for one. So Ambika, please, please help me out. When it's about corporate dressing, the tension could be as high as the inflation. How formal is formal? Does this hair wax make him look like a wet rodent? Slim fits, not for him. Should he go for the stubble? Hi Tejeshwar, how Hi, are Ambika, you? Hi I'm good, how it's are you? It's so good to see you. Likewise. Come sit. Thank you. 
So I've uh, heard all about you. I believe you have huge issues when it comes to dressing or formal events. I do, and I've recently realized that I have this problem because uh, I work with a PR firm, and I had to go for an event which was a store launch, and I had absolutely no idea what to wear. So I went in a pair of jeans and sneakers, and my boss lost it. So I really, really do need help with that. Don't worry, you're on the right track. Once you're done with the Get the Look team, you will never have a problem dressing for formal events again. Okay. So we want your journey to begin with a surprise. All you have to do is reach here tomorrow at about 4 p.m. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, I will. When you're talking about style icons who dress to kill, you don't have to look too far. He's tall, handsome, and he's just the right inspiration for Paige. You always look so dapper and so handsome whenever you go for an event. Thank you. Can you give me some tips on it? Uh, dress the part. You know, um, you have to dress for the occasion, and you know, if it's a formal function, you should nothing better than a suit. Okay. Yeah. If you had five minutes to dress up for a corporate event, what would you accessorize with? Just carry your attitude, man. I think that's the most important. A Be comfortable. A pair or a tie? Well, it depends. If it's a if it's a formal function, then you know, obviously, you should wear a tie. Uh, pocket square always adds a lot of color, and it's nice. So, Tejeshwar, I am so excited. You met Abhishek Bachchan. Yeah. How was the meeting? It was amazing. I was so awestruck. He looks really handsome in his suit. I think he is my biggest inspiration when it comes to formal wear after I met him. Really? Yes, he is. So, did Junior Bachchan give you any fashion gyan? He said the best thing to do is a suit, like you can never go wrong with a suit and uh, probably add a pop of colour with a pocket square or a bow tie. That's good advice and taking inspiration from what he said, I think we should take you accessory shopping. Great. Where yeah. are we going? It's a surprise. Okay. When it comes to amping up corporate dressing, accessories can really do the trick. Maybe a tie that resonates with your style, or a cufflink, or a maybe pocket squares. These look like some fun accessories. They quite do. in sync with what Abhishek Bachchan said. Uh -huh. Right? I quite like this bow tie. I think um, it's not for a formal event, but I think if you're going for a real quirky event, mm -hmm. this would do. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, it does. It's really colourful. I think it's really nice. It work with a nice white shirt and yeah. just accessorise with this. I add a pop of colour. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's really cool. I like these ties as well. Which one do you like? I like the floral one because I think it's a little unconventional. Uh -huh. Like these ones are something you would normally see, but that one I don't think so. And in fact, it's the colour of the shirt which will determine how the tie actually looks. Exactly. Like if you go for an understated shirt, mm -hmm. then you know the tie would look just about okay. But if you wear a bright shirt with a bright tie, then you would really stand exactly. out. But um, what about these couplings? I think these are really cool if you're going for like a poker event. Okay. I would anyway choose, any day choose this or this one. But these are too old for me, I think. And I like these pocket squares as well. Uh, I think because you're young, you should offer something colourful and vibrant. And since you are in the world of PR and media, I think that would suit your personality. Something that more. should stand out, I guess. Yeah. You also mentioned in your introduction that you find it extremely difficult finding the perfect uh, shoes with a formal outfit, right? I agree. I can't. I just, it's very confusing. So don't worry, your confusions come to an end on this show. Let's hit the shoe section.